<laughs> so, hi everybody. Bonjour, Dr. Ten. And we're back with uh, Punya Tete. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And what about you people? Let's do. Yeah. Really good, thanks. Uh, Alex might be a bit tired from uh, work. Or? Yeah, but mainly like the dog was barking at three, four, and five in the morning. So if I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't slept much. <laughs> so today we're going to discuss the Ga and Dangme languages with Hunya. So we'll be very curious to learn more. Actually, if you head out to Hunya's channel, your highness tv you're going to see a lot of content about these languages including starting with the history of the languages and then continuing on to vocabulary on various topics and grammar points like tenses negation and uh, clearing up some especially like tricky grammatical points as well uh, so uh, can you tell us some basic information about the languages, uh, like where they're spoken, how rare they are? Okay. Um, Gadangbe languages belong to a family of languages called the Kwa languages. Mm -hmm. But then uh, Kwa languages are actually spoken around uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. And the Bigger family, like at Ella said, are Niger Congo languages. Okay. Niger Congo languages threat to our South Saharan Africa. And it is believed that a portion of Niger Congo languages are also called Bantu languages, mm -hmm. such as a, a popular Bantu language. Okay, most Bantu languages are popular, such as Zulu, Isi Zulu, Kiswahili, mm -hmm. and Lesotho. Sesotho and Kosa and those languages. People really know certain language, but with Raka Congo language, I believe it's only Yoruba, which is well known. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying my best to push them so that they'll mm. also be known. I really try my best. Mm -hmm. So um, let's get back to Niger Congo. They are spoken within Sub Saharan Africa or better still, West Africa. And within Niger Congo, we have the Kwa, um, what's the name? Akan, Ewe, and Ko. And these are mostly spoken in Ghana and our in our and neighboring countries in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And for Gadangbe languages, okay, they are a bit unique. And according to most uh, Gadangbe, um, how would I say it? Linguists, they believe that um, Ewe language, which is also in its own family, Proto Gadangbe is much closer to Ewe. Hmm. That's what most people tend to say. But somehow, I, I somehow disagree though, but hmm. since this is not about that, I will not really delve into that. So technically, Gadangbe languages are the moment spoken in the capital of Accra. And hmm. The capital of Accra, well, let me say, that's a whole new, an entire thing altogether. So for now, let me just post that's what in the capital of Accra. If you have any question, then we do that from there. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, what is your experience with the Gadangme languages? How did you acquire them? Like mostly to communication or self-study with materials? So how, how does it go normally for people learning them? Are they native speakers? Are they bilingual? Okay, so I'm a native Gadangbe. Mm. Yes, a mother is a Ga and my father is a Dangbe. Mm. So mother being Ga, father being Dangbe, I'm naturally Gadangbe. Mm. Mm. And I yeah. acquired both at birth. So I speak both fluently. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, there, there was no problem whatsoever at home with the uh, dad who spoke, uh, uh, your, your father spoke Ga and your mom uh, Dangbe, right? Okay, my, my father speaks both Ga and Dangbe. Mm. My mom also speaks Ga and Dangbe. So 
Mm. Uh, but mostly they spoke Ghana with me a lot. I grew up learning Ghana from them more than a Dandy, but mm. sometimes I do pressure them to speak Dandy with me. So mm. uh, I acquired both from them, but I acquired the gun more than the Dandy. Mm, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And are they learned uh, at school at all? I noticed while reading, like while doing some research, that their university degrees, like for linguists, focusing on these languages. Mm -hmm. But like in maybe for kids at school, are they studied? Yes. Okay. With Ga and Dangbe languages, yes, they are government recognized languages. So both are studied in schools. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say Ga was. Uh, they want to be well developed. Ghana is well developed than Dangbe in terms of literature and vocabs and complexities. The reason mm. being that because Ghana is spoken in the capital Accra, you no, know, and uh, like when we take Ghana is divided into 16 regions, and Gadangbe languages are spoken in just two regions of Ghana. That's the greater Accra region and the eastern region of Ghana. So Greater Accra region hosts the capital of Ghana. And let's say about 60% of Greater Accra is Dangbe, and 40% is Ga. And the 40% is more of closer to the capital. And you know, with Ga being spoken around the capital, definitely different languages would, or the, okay, let me say different people would migrate to the capital. And so there will be different languages spoken to have different contacts, to have contact with different languages. Mm. Yes, yeah, so Ga, yes, has contact with different languages. Most of that, it's a bit more developed than Dangbe, although both are still in school. And I'll say Ga was uh, the one to be first studied in schools before Dangbe. Yeah, mm. So Ga had the up and then they later followed. Mm. That's okay. it. Yeah. You mentioned they were endangered. What are the sources of this situation? Is it because uh, their speakers also speak other languages which can be more useful to communicate with people from uh, maybe other regions or something? Yes, actually, yeah, okay, Ghana is facing some kind of crisis, but uh, people are now trying their best to curb that crisis. You know, with the Ghana language especially, I even did a video on my channel where someone even tried attacking the Ghana language. You know, because Ghana is just working the capital, and you know the Gadangbe population is very few, like, we mm. have the majority Akan language. Mm. So because and Gandambe is being surrounded by Akan. So uh, not just Akans, the airways, we have the groups and other migrants languages. So because of the number, okay, mm. uh, when they get to the capital, they are, their language, the language, uh, the immigrants language is okay. They've all somehow accepted Akan as the Widely, as as Akan is more widely spoken. Okay, since Akan is more widely spoken, almost every immigrant tends to speak Akan. So it's kind of putting pressure on the Ga language, most especially. So mm -hmm. the Ga language seems to be suffering some pressure. So is at the moment kind of endangered. Mm -hmm. But most Ga's, like you said, they really speak different. Languages. Yes, almost every Ga is a polyglot. I will mm. not say bilingual, I will say a polyglot. Mm. Because the least, the least number of languages a girl can speak is three. Mm. That's the least. Mm. Mm, okay. so yeah. Girl, I mm. can, and they have the choice. Some can do, uh, with account, we have dialects. So some can speak two or three dialects with account, be it Asante Chi, Fanti, Ethiopian Chi, or some even do just the accent tree, and they add English. That's the least you could get. Some, some guys can speak Hausa in addition to this. Sometimes we speak Ewa in addition. So we have mm. this situation. 
Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens often. Yeah. That, like the, the cross Can I talk about so maybe language blend or code switching? Yes, mm. you have where a guy will be speaking and we could switch maybe with a different language. And mm. sometimes it's unintentional. So we have, at the moment, most people speak Danglish or mm. Gatango. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunately uh, international, I think. <laughs> like, well, unfortunately or yeah. not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are so many, <laughs> something English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want? Uh, do you have any lang more like language related questions? Like uh, from, I know you're interested in accent pronunciation. Uh, there's some um, interesting sounds like uh, the labial velar sounds like plug. Yeah. Can you yeah. talk to us a bit about it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very complicated. I remember you had trouble with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. <laughs> Okay. And mm. um, with the sounds, okay, we have very unique sounds, and these sounds are not unique to dead guy. They are unique to almost um, every Ghanaian language. Gar sounds mm -hmm. or Ga diphthongs, dif especially, are not so unique to just Ga alone. Almost every language throughout West Africa has that sound. Okay. Like the quiz sound. Wow. Mm. Yeah, the quiz sound. The quiz sound uh, is used by the Ewe languages. It's used by some one languages. We have the m sound. Can you try it? M. 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 Yeah, m it's more like N, G, M combined together. N, G. M. 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 Yes. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, with the P, we have the soft tag P, and then the hard tag B. So mm. P is soft, and then B is hard. Mm. Yeah, so like bo bo. Bo bo. bo, bo. bo, bo. It is hard. <laughs> bo, bo. Yeah, bo, bo. Bo, bo. <laughs> okay. Maybe a bit faster. <laughs> so, then, yeah, so the sounds are not also unique to that. Mm. Okay, like the sound. Almost every language in Ghana has that mm. sound, but some languages have sound that even girls can't make. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what makes um, so the Gadangma languages are family, considered a family, a language family, just the two of them. What makes them uh, different from the other yeah. languages in Ghana? Anything specific in terms of grammar or vocabulary that really differentiates them? Okay. So the Gadangma la languages actually uh, is more historical mm -hmm. and more mm. cultural than linguistics. Okay. You know, they were actually one group of people. Then they were not even Gadangbe. It was just mm -hmm. one language they were speaking, mm -hmm. which we don't know the name of the ancient language. So most of us, we will call it the Kushi language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because uh, it is believed that most Gadangbe's migrated from the Kushitic region, somewhere in Ethiopia and thereabouts. Yeah. And so they got to Nigeria, where they set, settled in two different places. So somewhere mm -hmm. at the Benin states, somewhere in Nigeria, somewhere around Lefe in the Yoruba states or the Lagos states. Because of that, some borrowed from the Yoruba language, some also borrowed from the Edo language. So it started affecting the language in terms of dialectization. So the one unified language started to split into two main dialects. And later mm. they migrated to that and got to Togo and some settled in Togo and mm. the rest got to Ghana. So even with Togo, we'll talk about the Kadangbes in Togo. Mm. Now when they got to Ghana, they settled in seven main states. So these seven states also affected them in terms of dialectization because some had language contact with different people. So 
the borrowing really affected the Kadangbe languages. Mm. Yes. So let's say I'm currently at a place called Nungwa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at Nungwa, um, we speak Ga in Nungwa. Mm -hmm. But it's believed that in the past we don't really speak Ga, we spoke Dangwe. But ah, at the okay. moment, it's more mm -hmm. of with, um, how do I put it? The Dangwe is dead and we've evolved to speak Ga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I see. And then the term that the people of Nungwa speak is somehow unique from the other, from most Ghana dialects. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. For example, um, most Ghana dialects to say something like, he is cursing, um, this is American English. That's, mm -hmm. he curses a lot. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. to use the word he curses a lot in American English, it means he speaks profane words. Mm -hmm. Yes, so in, in the Nungwa dialect, we say a jasunsu. A jasunsu. But then mm -hmm. communities next to Nungwa, they say a je yakaka. Mm -hmm. So you that Nungwa is sunsu, but the other communities are yakaka. So a mm -hmm. jasunsu, a je yakaka. Mm -hmm. You get it. And then when you yeah. move out of the community surrounding Nungwa, the other communities will not say a jay a kayaka, they don't say a boy a kayaka. Mm. So you see, it has changed with yeah. Nungwa having its own vocab. Yeah. Let's mm. take a peki. Teki, the animal teki, okay. Mm. Um, most girls will say klakuno. Mm. Okay. But in Nungwa, they don't say klakuno, they say osonso. Okay. Uh, I see, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. So they yeah. have their own special vocab for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they have, they have, we have this uh, cultural, it's something cultural, okay? Like how mm. the Spaniards for the salsa dance and co. Well, mm. in a modern garden base, we have Ashijama. It's more of mm -hmm. a dance where they roam the streets and they sing very cultural. Mm. But Nungwa have a cultural word for it. Whereas all the Ghana comes to see Ashi Jama, only Nungwa will say Ashi Kolo. Mm. Mm. All Ghana comes yeah. to Jama, and even non gas know it as Jama, but except Nungwa, Ashi Kolo. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it's very, yeah. Uh... Um, yeah, it's very different. Okay. Mm -hmm. And between the two of them, the Ga and Dangme, uh, I read that they're mutually intelligible to a large extent, but what are some differences between them? Mostly grammar, vocabulary, or just some cultural differences? Okay. It's Dangme is of your dialects. Mm -hmm. We have the Klo dialects. You have the Adan dialect. You have mind Dangwe dialect. I speak the Nogo dialect. Mm. And then we have the Midland language. So let me better explain. Klo dialect is Northern Dangwe. So North mm. Dangwe. The Ada is, um, let me see, Eastern Dangwe. Mm. Then we have Western Dangwe. Western Dangwe, we have two dialects. We have the Nogo dialect, which is the one I speak. Mm. And then the Bugbla dialect. Someone will ask, Bugbla and Nungo is just, they are just um, communities that are side by side. But mm. someone will ask, why should Bugbla, which is just next to Nungo, its fellow Dangwe community have its own dialect? This is because Bugbla is in between Dangwe and Ghan. So with Bugbla to the left, Okay, or to the western side is a Ghana community. And to the mm -hmm. eastern side is a Dangbe community. And to the northern side of the is it's also half Ghana community, half Dangbe community. So there are more of submerged in between yeah. Ghana and Dangbe. Mm -hmm. So their dialect is mixed Ghana and Dangbe. Mm -hmm. You know, Dangbe will say Bugulans are speaking Ghana. Ghana will also say Bugulans are speaking Dangbe. And Bugulans also say they are speaking Gadangbe. They call their language Gadangbe. They say they are speaking Gadangbe. Mm -hmm. So it's not Gadangbe, it's in between. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's so, not a strong divide or anything uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So mm. we establish the Bulan dialects, then the Go dialects, which are Western language dialects, then Ada, which is Eastern, Kulo, which is not. Then we have the Central or Mainland language, which is Dodoa, Shai, and Po. So we have basically five dialects and Adangwe. Okay. Mm. So now um, I will generalize first and say Dangwe dialects are more of antique, uh, are more of old Ghana. They preserve mm. much of old Ghana vocabulary. A mm -hmm. modern Ghana uh, has contact with Akan languages, one languages, even English. Mm. And it once had contact with um, Portuguese and Dutch. Mm. Mm. So yeah. it has more of, it has some Dutch vocabulary, mm. Portuguese here and there. So that, let me say, evolved over time. And Dangbe generally has preserved more of the old vocabs. Mm. So now let's go back to Dangbe. Let's compare Kulo to some of to my dialect and Adda. Let's say something like you are shouting. Mm. Both uh, Ningo, Adda, all the Kosa, they don't say Onge Mla Pa. Onge mm. Mla Pa. But the Northern dialect, they don't say Onge Hugui. Mm. So the Malak has changed to Hukui in the northern dialect. Onya Hukui Pa, Onya Malak Pa. But Gan is more like Okpang Malak. That's and Okpang Malak is seen as old Gan. But then mm. we have the modern Gan. That is Obolo. Mm. But the modern Gan, we say Obolo. But then we have Okpang Malak in Gan. People of Nungwa, we use it a lot. And it's very unique mm. to us. Mm. Okay, mm. so that's more of Dangbe. Plus mm. the, uh, what's the name? The other dialects, Onya Wikpa, not in Dangbe, Onya Mrakpa, not in Dangbe. And let me say you are lying, okay? Dangbe, throughout the Dangbe communities, they say uh, maybe Onya Lakpa Ye. Onge, like by, and I know it is a mouth food for you. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's still yeah. like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're wrapping okay. right around it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Onge tapaye. Onge tapaye. Okay. Okay. okay, she's okay. usually doing better than me. No, 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 not, not the pronunciation. I'm doing better at grammar. You're doing better at okay. pronunciation. Right. Right. Okay. Onge. Go ahead. Onge. Onge. Lakpa. Ba. ba. No, Lakpa. <laughs> Go ahead. Onge Lakpa. Onge. Wang Ba. Is it a B? Oh, like buy it. Like buy it. <laughs> yes. uh, I feel like I'm slaughtering it too much. <laughs> like, yeah, we need no we need to see face to face. Like, <laughs> like no problem. No problem. Whenever you come to I'll do that. I'll, I'll teach you Dangbe. Sure. So, Thank you. <laughs> Thank so onya like buy it. Okay. Mm. Then this onya like buy The girls have evolved it to um. Then like my girls have changed the summer to instead of oh ye a like my no that way is only like by ye. So if the girls should turn it up and should be oh ye a like pa, but the girls don't say oh yeah like they, they rather tend to oh to a like pa. and then they're oh to a like pa. okay they've even evolved it further to oh to abala so mm. a like pa. abala oh to abala mm. That's like so in best. more than yeah. that we say mm. oh to abala but uh, let me say the girl 50, 60 years ago, it is Oto Alakba. Mm. So personally, I say Oto Alakba. I don't say Oto Abala because Oto Abala is more of corrupted Oto Alakba. Mm. I see, yeah. It's like, no, like language is evolving, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. under, like, influenced by other languages. Yeah. You know? yeah Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it's slow. Mm. Yeah. And even house, okay, old girl. Okay, when you go around Gang communities, 
Mm-hmm. You will see on the walls that the right way on mm-hmm. walls. But then in speaking, mm-hmm. you don't say the way. Maybe in speaking, mm-hmm. maybe you have something like in when you that's my house person, or it, it means like my companion or my friend. In when you go to women's house. But in speaking, a guy will never tell you me your way. I'm going home. No, the way I say me a shia. And so most of the time I ask myself, where did the Shia come from? Because on 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 walls, inscriptions on walls, okay, in to show that the like, the real language, or maybe in terms of some vocabs, we use way to mean house. But then in everyday speech, we don't use the way, we use um shia, but in that way. Throughout mm. all Bongo communities, they still use their weight to mean mm. house or home. So mm. that is more of evolved Dangbe. And Dangbe is more of the proto language itself. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, very so, interesting. yeah. It's almost like old form of uh of mm-hmm. Kaffa, yeah. <laughs> So mm. Yeah, you mentioned some like whole sentences. Can you tell us like uh, how a sentence is structured generally? So we kind of know that the verb is very important in a central position and there's also pre-verbs. Like, how can you explain sentence structure to speakers okay. of you know European languages? Okay, okay. I think I get you. Hmm. Well, with the, I'm going to speak for both that and then with the, um they model after the Akan in the Guan languages due to contact. Mm. So maybe I'm coming home, okay? Gan pronounce itself, they are very complicated. They're not like English, <laughs> where or Italian, where they are kind of static. Gan mm. pronounce, <laughs> they are a bit complicated. <laughs> they can... They, they, they can sound present in one context, no sound future, and then they have to, the pronoun has to change. Okay. Unlike European languages, you conjugate the verbs mm-hmm. and you keep the pronoun static. But mm-hmm. in Ghana, you rather conjugate the pronouns and you keep mm-hmm. the verbs static. Yeah, I remember this from last time. I found yeah. it so fascinating that mm. the pronouns are conjugated. Yeah. Yes. You know, Ga actually model this. Dangbe has this model, but Dangbe is a bit be- better. I said it's less complicated than Ga. Ga is mm. rather more complicated. Mm. So we have the pronouns that sound more present. They behave in the present, say, like, me, ba, I am coming. When it is me, then it's now present. Or let me mm-hmm. say continuous. Mm-hmm. As in, I am in the process of doing something. Let's mm-hmm. say Italian. You can speak Italian, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Barely. And maybe, <laughs> sto bevendo l'acqua. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sto bevendo l'acqua. Sto bevendo. No, in the middle. Then it's the conjugate the star and then the bevere. Okay, but in that, we met you say me, that's it. It's time for the sto and then the indo uh, is covers everything. Mm-hmm. And then this pronoun me can change to ma. When it changes to ma, it's, it's now conveying a future meaning. So me, mm-hmm. but I'm coming. Ma, but I will come. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ma will alternate again to maybe imba. Now it's no longer me or ma. Now it's now in. And when it becomes imba, then it means I have come. Mm. Uh-huh. And when you, mm. in again, when you change the tone a bit, imba, should I come? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I see. And, then you, mm-hmm. and then you change the tone again, imba, it means I did come. Mm. So, so like, from, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Complicated. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in Japanese, also, I'm very interested in how the verb behaves. Because, for example, there is no verb to want to, for example, or I would, or, you know, like I'm planning to. It's the same verb, but then some little things within it change. So, yeah, very interesting to see how mm. verbs can be expressed differently. Mm. Yeah, okay. 
So let me use something like to be no aqua. Okay, to be no aqua. Now, maybe I'll drink water. Manunu, because the man is more of a future. Okay, so manunu. Then you will drink water. Oba nunu. So ma oba. So manu. No means drink and no also mean water. So I'll drink drink. Manu. Uh -huh. Then oba nunu. So the oba is future. Oba nunu. Eba nunu. He or she will drink water. Eba nunu. Then woba nunu. We will mm. drink water. Then yeba nunu. You, that is a um, boy, boy, okay. Mm -hmm. In right. German, that's the ear. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, banunu. Okay, then I'm a banunu. So, so that the no to drink is static. Uh -huh. But it's yeah. just the pronoun of changing. Now, this mm -hmm. same no again, I'm drinking water. Me no no. Mm -hmm. I see still the no no. Me, but then on the ma, I can me no no. I see, you said Oba Nunu, but now this time going, Oh Nunu, you are drinking mm. water. Eh yeah. Nunu, he or she is drinking water. Oh Nunu, we are mm. drinking water. Nye yeah, Nunu, you plural are drinking water. Then Amen Nunu, they are drinking water. Mm. So you see, the Nunu is still static, but the pronoun yeah. keeps changing. Then we have Inunu, I drank water. Oh, no, no, you drank water. Eh, no, no. He or she drank water. And it goes mm. on like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Great. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I got some stuff. What mm. about you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's better than me. <laughs> Just with grammar. But then for Dangbe, okay. Mm -hmm. Drink, no, drink in Ghana is no. But in Dangbe, it's new. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so, uh, that means manunyu. That's N Y U. Manunyu. I would do that. That is manunu. But that means manunyu. Manunyu. Okay. So you get it. Gana oba. You drink water. That means o manunyu. So that is that means M o manunyu. E manunyu. Then ga wo. Ba, but that means wa, ma, wo, ba, wa, ma. Hmm. So, oh, then, wa, ma, nunu. Then, nye, ba, nunu, ga. Nye, ma, nunu. Then, now, first, they will drink water. Guys, ame, ba, nunu. Then, that means, a, ma, nunu. So, ame, ba, a, ma, no, 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 no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, quite still quite uh, quite close. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm catching. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. And then maybe uh, I'm drinking water, guys. Me no no, but tangbe is like inge no no. I am water drinking, guys. Me no no. This mm. vocab is more of one. Um, that mm. is more from a can or one. Okay. So I can't mm -hmm. be like me no in su, me no in su. So me no, guys, me no no. But that way, it's more of the old uh, grammatical structure. So don't be like, inge you no, onge you no, enge you no, wange you no, nyenge you no, ke ange you no. So that way. Mm. You get daily then and then they'll flip they'll flip the verb order. But girl, this is straight. Mm. Yeah. So that's yeah. Definitely it's more straightforward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, can I chip in about the play festival? Yeah. A festival, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have the season of play. Mm. And play is the Gadangme Festival, okay, and it's celebrated mm. mostly within April, May. They start the right for the play to Asha and play, and the actual festival begins 
in July. Through yeah. all the Katangbe community. So even play, I'll be airing it on my channel. So all the necessary mm. rights that have been done, I've videotaped everything. So play small of the Katangbe festival mm. and it's celebrated throughout some Gang communities and some Dangbe communities. Not all Dangbe communities perform play. Mm. But most Dangbe communities do perform play, and a mm. few of yeah. them don't. Yeah. Amazing. So we're cool. telling the viewers, please keep an eye yeah. on Hunia's channel. We're going to put a link mm. down yeah. in the box. Yeah. Yeah, fascinating. Okay. And every year, the, the festival? Yeah. Do you have yeah. any question to ask? Um, yeah, it's like a big gathering of the whole like uh, Dagombe community. Uh, is there anything? Well, obviously there is online because you put it on your channel. Yeah. But is it like very traditional gathering? Um, is it in any way? You know, is there technology in any way? Okay. Okay. Well play, okay. Uh, for now, I'm I'm covering for uh, for Nungwa, which is my community by default. So naturally, mm -hmm. I'll support them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, for play, they have they have what we call the first Dudominuwo festival, which mm -hmm. I cover, and they have the second and the third. For the second mm -hmm. and the third, because I've done the first, I I assume it's covered for the second and third. Then they have the Jenteniili and Ishamo, which I also covered on my channel. Then they mm -hmm. have the Abele Womo, which I also covered. After which they have the Bemila. So for the Bemila simply means ban on noise making. Mm. So in Mumba, they are going to ban noise making for like a week, where they will mm. preach the ancestors. You know, African tradition, we believe in ancestors and mm. reincarnation. Yes, so... Mm to preach the ancestors and invoke their blessings, after which they um, lift the ban on noise making, and then mm. several rights will follow, such as mm. the uh, uh, and I'm covering everything, basically. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's more like, uh, clearing the way, then they place more of the climate. You know, the people of Nungwa have an elder god called Bobu, mm -hmm. and most of the times people anticipate his presence during play. So, Bobu must possess someone, or that yes. the, we have not just someone per se, but we have the Bobu priests, those who usually stand for the Bobu god. Okay. So he must test them, they dance, they have to be carried shoulder high, shoulder mm. high, because naturally girls believe in the priesthood, okay, or believe in the Babu God more. And Babu mm. is seen as the king of the Adangbe kingdom and the elder god as well. So in as much as he's the elder god, he's also the king. So he must mm. possess the priest and they will be carried shoulder high as the kings of the land. Mm. And Bob is famous to Zeus. Mm. I see. Yes. Okay. Mm. Because uh, our people migrated from the Kushitic area, so they might have had some sort of contact with the ancient Greeks. Mm. Mm. All right. Bob, much of Zeus' characteristics is what we see in Bobu. Uh -huh. Nice. Ah, okay. The right. wife Hera, and we call Hera Ashiele over here in Ghana. Or in mm. we call Hera Ashiele. Bobu mm. has other wives, and we have names for them. Mm. We have um, Hermes over here, and we call Hermes Chawi. And it goes mm. on like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. Very okay. cross cultural. So great. Yeah, yeah, we we mentioned the festival. Of course, we mentioned what you're doing in your channel with actually teaching these languages to an international audience. Do you think these are good ways to preserve the languages since they're endangered? And what else do you think can be done? Do you yourself have any plans for any specific activities or content? 
Yeah, okay. At the moment, I decided to save Ghana initially. And mm. later, I started to include Dangbe. The reason why I said to save Ghana was because Dangbe was not too much threatened. Like how Ghana was that much threatened. Mm -hmm. And anytime mm. I went online, I barely get what I want with respect to Ghana because I can type topics like Ghana adjectives, Ghana negatives, Ghana mm -hmm. pronouns, and you don't get them. It's like you only find Ghana business, Ghana business, in Ghana, but you don't get in depth course. Mm -hmm. And as a, and a me being a polyglot, I started to do this, take this task on and do this. And mm -hmm. when I started, I realized that people also kept asking, in Punya, if you are doing this and you are a Dangbe, then do this for your mother tongue as well. Mm -hmm. I started to speak for Dangbe. You know, naturally, I speak one languages. And then once also said, ask him, I should do this for one languages. So I said to do this, do for only the one language I speak, which is called Latin. But then the demand kept increasing and I said it would be different one languages. So technically, yes, I had the vision for just that, but now it has become a whole big thing, which I don't think I'm stopping now. There is mm. thing that if I stop, I failed a whole lot of people. And luckily for me, people are now coming on board to assist because their work the, or the task is too huge for me to handle. So mm -hmm. people are also coming on board to assist. People are also, I give them the guide and they produce the lessons, they send and I edit, post them on the channel. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, you know, once in a while, you have to also raise some funds and then also support those also helping here and there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of not easy to do, but mm. I guess we yeah. have to do this. We understand, yeah. like, now we're doing some Bulgarian course, for example, and we're using a textbook. The authors were so kind as to grant us the rights to use it, but I really don't see how we could do it, like, us deciding what grammar point, yeah. when to introduce exactly. I think this must be mm -hmm. extremely, extremely difficult. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's great to see that you have uh, united people as well around your project. That's, that's cool. <laughs> yes, yeah. and uh, mm. also we have purchased uh, Hunia's book. Mm. So we'll be reading it and talking about it on our channel. So yeah. stay tuned for that. And hopefully we'll progress on the yeah. pronunciation because <laughs> we're really not doing a good job right now. <laughs> it's <a> speech therapy. <laughs> Yeah, I also like to talk about Depot. Mm -hmm. Depot. I'm looking forward to covering Depot and posting it on my channel. It is a festival of the Northern Dan base. I made I made mention of them Polo. Mm -hmm. And Depot is more of a puberty right. You know, culturally, we believe that before you can even date, okay, as in date a man, okay, mm -hmm. we have to perform some rights to usher you into it. So somehow this right helps to preserve our virginity because once you've not performed it and you are seen pregnant or something, it's a shame unto you. So it helps preserve, uh, preserve our virginity and it, and it helps give some sort of decency. So the poor, it's, a, a, it's more of a festival. I'll say it's a festival. I'll not say it's a right. I'll say it's a festival which is performed yearly by our Klo people, the Northern Dangles. And mm. they use that to usher in young adolescents into poverty and to tell the world that now they are ready to court or mm. they are ready for marriage. Yeah. Also, we have festivals like Miami which is also celebrated by our Northern Dambis as well. Mm -hmm. And it's more of, in my MC, simply means eating. Okay, mm -hmm. or eating food. Cool. Yes, yeah, okay. so when we came here, when we first settled in Ghana, we went through some sort of farming. So mm -hmm. even the Nungwa Kuldu Festival, okay, most along with the Ghana Homo Festival. Homo simply means putting at hunger. Because mm -hmm. we really suffered hunger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
because you really suffered hunger, we would have sitting there, but our northern language would rather celebrate eating. Mm -hmm. But then our western language, or sorry, our eastern language, they choose to celebrate how we fought to maintain this land. That's Asafutufiam. Asafu mm -hmm. means uh, warriors. Tu mm -hmm. means a uh, gun. Then Fiamme means um, shooting. So warriors mm -hmm. shooting, something like that. Mm -hmm. yes. I see. So those yeah. are them. And also, I'd like to talk about the guns in Togo. Mm. Okay. Yeah. People don't know about them. And even people, even in Ghana, Kadangbe land in Ghana, don't even know of their cases in Togo. Don't talk mm. about these people. Um, you know, because they're in Togo, Togo is a French, a former French colony. Yeah. So they, they don't in Togo speak French. Mm. And because they're surrounded by the Ewe people, the Ewe call them Ge. Mm. Ge. You know, Ge simply means Ga. Even in Ghana, mm. the Ewe call with the Gadangwes Ge. So mm. they call those people also Ge. And we have some in Benin, they are also known as the Gengbe people. Mm. The and the Gungbe people, yes, they are actually guns, Gadangbe's, but they are in Togo and some part of Benin. Mm. At the moment, because um, they are in contact with Ewe languages, it has affected their language a lot. And let's mm. bear in mind, they were not in Ghana. They were in Togo when we migrated to Ghana. So as our language was evolving, theirs was also evolving in a different direction. Mm. We had different language contacts. So the language honestly is a bit weird to me. Mm. Yeah. If, uh, yes, even in Ghana, with the Ghana population, we have the Ghana, we are, we are very few. So mm. if we are very few in Ghana, and the majority of us are in Ghana, they can imagine the population in Togo. They will be smaller. And then mm. the other languages will definitely dominate over them. So mm. I want to give an example. They are mostly surrounded by airway. So in Ghana, when we say can, we say ba. Okay. Ba. And mm -hmm. Ewe is ba. Okay. Ewe is mm -hmm. ba. Mm -hmm. But so Ghana being ba, Ewe being ba. And they be surrounded by Ewe, they say ba. So they have the Ghana accent. Ba, ba. But then mm -hmm. they say Ewe mm Ba. -hmm. So they pick a blend of Ewe Ghana some way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in Ghana, yes. mm -hmm. Ghan, is ba -bie. Ba -bie in Ghana. Ewa is Bafi. Ba -bie in Ghana. Bafi. So the, I don't know the Bafi. But they say Bafi. Ba -bie. Mm. Ba -bie. Ba -bie. <laughs> so mm. they put some Ewa Ghan language. I, I, mm. I just don't know how to call their language. Mm. Because most Ewa's will say they are not speaking Ewa. They are speaking. Always call the language Ga Ewe. We, 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 we call the language Ewe. Mm. Mm, I see. Wow. Yeah. Oh, very like interesting to see how different cultures can uh, like produce different blends, like have an impact on one language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, great. Thank you. Super, okay. super interesting. We're looking forward to that. <laughs> that sounds great. And uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Is there anything so, else you would like to say to address the audience? Okay, yeah. Um, audience of Monoglossia, please kindly share the channel with others so more people discover Monoglossia because Monoglossia is not only about European languages, but it's languages around the world. And we all know gloss simply means language and mono, oneness. So oneness of languages. So please share with others so more people discover this channel on YouTube. Also, I have my channels. If you wish to learn Ghanaian languages, that's Gadangwe or Guan languages, they will drop my link in the description box below. Do well to follow the link. And who knows? You may one day find yourself in Ghana and you will not need to study the language all over. 
Also, mm. it's a season of pillage. And I indulge all of you to um, follow the Koli Festival on my channel. She may definitely link you and just, just watch and have fun. Just get at your home and see the culture of an entire group. Yeah. Also, I have a book on play and a book on the Ghanaian languages, which she will, let, she will let her do an overview or a review on that. Also, should you uh, wish to know more about play and you get to my channel, you can just request for it. It's a free book. You are not even paying a dime. Just read it, know about us. And because I really want people to know about it because our languages are endangered and it's my dream to save them. Mm. Amazing. Thank well you done. very much, Kenya. Thank yeah. you so much for, well for the very detailed and deep discussion. Uh, thank you to our audience for watching us. Yes. And we Bye. hope to, <laughs> to talk again soon. Yeah. Bye bye. How do you say thank you in Bulgarian? <laughs> Sorry? How do you say thank you in Bulgarian? Uh, what? Bulgarian. <laughs> it's a bit long. Grazie, grazie. Grazie, grazie. Grazie.